Welcome back, Floss Tube. It is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, unless you're like me and don't really care, so you're not going to watch it. And then it's just another Sunday. Um, it's hair washing day. Many females will understand. I might shower every day, but I don't wash my hair every day. Don't judge. Besides, it's a glittery headband, so it's okay. It's fancy. Um, I didn't have time to get my shower before the family snuck out of the house. So I'm just jumping right in because I've got a lot to film today. Um, outside of my normal, my regular floss tube that I'm going to be doing, um, I am doing a whip parade. I did have a few people say they would like to see one. I wasn't going to do it. It's a whole lot of shit to pull out and show. But I joined Kenny's group, um, You Better Whip Bitch, and I need to try to get rid of some whips in my house. So I need to pull them out and take pictures and post them in the group for my starting point stuff and Might as well just do a whip parade take my photos as I go and be done with it all So I'm gonna film that as well. It will be separate from this video. Do not worry um, <clears throat> So let's jump right in because I've got a lot and then I've got to get the other video done before the husband and kidlets get home Okay, so I had a couple of finishes. Um, this was actually a start and a finish. This is 2004 Cross Stitchers Surprise Series from Rainbow Gallery. I've, po I've talked about this series in um, my videos before. These are still available. They are freebie, sh uh, freebie patterns and you can Google it. Um, they were designed by Erica Michaels, uh, Linda Stoles, um, for Rainbow Gallery. So I can't remember exactly how I Googled it to get the page to come up, but if you Google Cross Stitchers Surprise Series from Rainbow Gallery, it should pull up. Um, I do actually have a link in one of my other videos. If I remember, I'll go back, get the link, and put it here. No promises. So I had done November and December. And I pulled out January, and it is so stinking cute. Look at that snowman. He uses, um, it's not fuzzy stuff. What is, yeah, it is fuzzy stuff. So it's it's got some dimension to it. Uh, not the most fun to stitch with, but also not the worst. I mean, I, I've stitched with worse. Can't really, oops, can't really see it in this um, lighting, but the snowflakes... Uh, those are done with ch -ch 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 petite sparkle rays, so there is some iridescence in there. It's really pretty. So that's three months of these done now. Um, and these were actually little kits that I got that had the fibers. So what I'm probably going to do is save all of these as I finish them for the complete year. And then maybe I'll do a big giveaway for all 12 leftovers um not gonna be enough to stitch a whole second one but you could kind of play with some of the fibers um i'm i don't think i need to keep them at this point um like this this particular month i did use all of the sparkle rays i think that's the first time that i've used all of the supplied fiber you know one of the fibers so but anyway I can do all 12 at once. You can play around with some of the fibers, mix and match it with what you have in your own stash, that kind of thing. So that was finish number one. Finish number two. Oh my gosh, I'm so stinking excited about this one. Look, Maleficent is done. And she's freaking amazing. Look at this. Oh my God. You know, I had gotten her to the point, um, I had gotten all of the cross stitches done, and I pulled it out and did, I had started some of the half stitches in the background. Um, I had started up here. So, when I pulled her out, yeah, when I pulled her out, I, um, and I think it took five days to come down, fill all of this in, get all of this done, and then put the back stitching in. And man, does that back stitching make this. If you are on my Instagram, you will see I did post a picture side by side before and after back stitching. 
It's just amazing. Uh, this was a pattern that I got from Etsy, Mandarinks Designs. The fabric is from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. The finished stitch size is um, five and a half by seven and a half. So I did go to the Lobby of Hobbies yesterday and got a frame, an eight by 10. I'm gonna frame it hopefully today. Um, am I the only female that cannot wear headbands? Like this is supposed to be one of those grippy ones and it's completely just falling off the back of my head. Um, maybe I have a weird shaped head. Anyway, I went to the lobby of hobbies. I got an eight by 10 frame. I sent a picture to my coworker who this is for. I wanted dramatic because this piece needed dramatic and I wanted black. This is really not folded well, but you're gonna get the idea. That is gonna be amazing. I did also tell my coworker that we're gonna have to have shared custody because, yeah. <laughs> she asked if she could just make me a color photocopy. I'm tried explaining that that's not how that works. Good grief. Stupid headbands. Um, while I was at Hobby Lobby, I also picked up this little 5x5 five five frame. And this is what I'm going to use for my friend's um, piece. And I need to get that finished today as well so I can drop that in the mail to her. Because it's got to go to Colorado. Um, okay, so that was finishes. This is going to drive me freaking nuts. Please ignore me while I style my horrible hair. Ta-da! Okay. And I wonder why Ellery's hair is always a tangled mess. Because I can barely take care of my own hair. <laughs> so, you know. All right, whips. I have my little Riolis bat. And I got a little bit done on him. I need to jump back into this one. I want to get it finished so I can pass the pattern on. But here's my, my little addition. And this is on Picture This Plus Echo. Love that fabric. And I will have enough left over to do, you know, another little Halloween, excuse me, Halloween piece. I'm going to drink. All right, next whip. I need something to put behind this. I worked on this last night, pulled it back out. I was working on it for quite a while um, and put it away to get Maleficent out and picked it back up last night. Last night I got the bottom of the plant done and into the brown. And then this morning while I was waiting for the husband to use the restroom and get out of the house, I started putting in some of this in the pot. So I'm really excited for that. Um, this is one of the patterns that I got from mybobbin.com. Um, one of my videos I talked about their website, posted the link. I'll post the link below again. Um, they have amazing, amazing patterns and some kits and everything from... Um, Ukrainian, Russian designers, um, just some great stuff. And I actually have a cart full of stuff that I want to get. Um, but I have to hold off until I can pay off some credit card. But um, this is going really well. And this is going to be another piece where the back stitch is going to make it. Next two whips <laughs> are the uh, Peppermint Purple Blackwork Sale. So I'm doing two versions, if you remember. I'm doing Bright Mulberry Silks on Black. Oh, isn't that stunning? Oh my God, I freaking love it. I'm so excited. And I think, This is breaking my rule of never stitching the same thing twice. Um, oh, man. Okay, so this week, or for the next four weeks, because we just finished week five. Oh, no, I pulled my silk. It got fuzzy. Crap. 
I have to do something. Okay, so for the next four weeks, I'm still working with the same colors, the same purple and blue. And then I'll get down to here and get to pull in a new blue. And it will look like... Oh, where's the next blue? This. So this will be the blue that I pull in. Eh. There, that's a, that's a better... Eh, that's better. The sun is coming in and really messing with this one. Everything else has looked so true to color until now. But anyway, so I'm really excited to get through the next four weeks so that I can start with a new color. Um, the rest of my, here's the rest of my color map for the brights. And then the second version that I'm doing of this is the called for colors. And I'm stitching this on another piece from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Yes, that's who it's by. Yes. <laughs> I had to think about that for a minute. And here's where I'm... Again, I've got week five finished. So... And I got really lazy and I haven't... I try to put in one or two lengths of... Um, the boxes, you know, uh, the back stitching for the boxes with every week, I just wasn't feeling it this week. So I put in enough on this one to have this box because this box wasn't even here. On the other one, I already had it boxed in. So next week I'm going to have, well, next week I've got this one already done, but I really should come over here and finish the outside border here and try to get some more of that done. Because I don't want to get too far behind on... I mean, it's not a big deal to do the back stitching for each box each week. But I still want to be a little bit ahead. So when I have weeks where I just feel like putting the color in only, I can. That is it for whips, I believe. Yes, that is it for whips. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my stitch nine next. Um... Last year, I think I got four done from the Stitch 9. I'd like to get more than that done this year. So, please hold. Okay, so I realized that one of my Stitch 9 pieces was still put away. So, I went to grab that. So, here's my list for Stitch 9, which you can see. One of them's already checked off. Sweet. Um, and actually my stitch nine was stitch 10 because I'm doing, I wanna do stiatch finishes and I did not finish last year's either. So I have 2018 and 2019 for stiatch in my um, stitch nine. So here is my list. Hey, dummy, don't close the list if you're trying to talk about it. First one I want to finish is this AAN pattern, Butterfly. And if you've watched my videos and kept up with me somewhat, you may remember that this is the one I'm doing all in beads. Um, and I really, I, I need to just... Same thing as Maleficent. I mean, like, if I just set this down and put this on my stand for a week, I'd probably finish it. Why is this not? Maybe that's what I need. Oops. I need to do with this one since it's out already now. Let's just work on it. This is a piece of fabric from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. This is one of the first fabrics I ever got from her. It's freaking amazing. I've said that a lot already this video, haven't I? Hmm. But look at that. It's just gorgeous. So she's, this one's probably what, like a third of the way done? Yeah. Third of the way. So all of the cross stitches are beads. The back stitching is still just back stitching. 
And I just, I love how it looks. It's so delicate. Just beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to put this when I'm done. My aunt loves purple and butterflies. Maybe she needs it. I don't know. I just thought it was a really cool idea to try doing one all in beads. Kind of a new challenge for myself type thing. So, so that is number two. Number three. I should also say I don't fully, I don't believe that I will actually finish all 10 of these because it's just, I don't know, maybe I will because I'm in that group now where I'm trying to get finishes. I can't have a new start until I have finishes, blah, blah, blah. We'll see. So this is the picture of this one. I'm not going to take it out of the sleeve and show you the big picture because I'm just lazy. But this is the one that I am stitching on the O Holy Night fabric, fabric flare. So this is how far I am. I've got, this is the flame of the candle, a couple of the flowers. So I've got a good chunk of that to go. But it's bigger chunks of color. So really, when I was working on this, when I first started it, it did stitch pretty quick. So I need to get that one back out. This would be a quick finish. I would just finish it. Um, Nativity Berry, Erica Michaels. I'm loving all these different berries. And this is where I'm at. So I think the biggest chunk is done. You know, I just have to do that star and the background swirlies and just need to get this done. Um, trying to go in order of what I how I had these written down but I'm, I'm not doing that anymore because I'm not <laughs> okay so here's my next one hummingbird Bis hummingbird biscornu tiny modernist here is my start fabric is a little bit brighter in person that's more true to color and this is actually a fabric that I dyed Yes, yes it is. So I'd like to get that finished. Again, another one that really wouldn't take too much time, probably. And that's actually part of what I'm going to do when I do my whip parade and start organizing these for... Oh, dang it, I haven't been taking pictures. Um, I kind of want to group things by size and how much is left to do on it. So, because to earn a start, you have to finish five pieces. So I'm kind of like, if I get really antsy for a start, and I'll, and I'll go more into detail on that too, how, you know, how many starts I can actually have. I want to be able to pull something out that's like closest to finish, like the least amount of work to get it done quick. <laughs> so, um, oh, screw it. I'm not taking, I'll, I'll take pictures of those, of those after this. Okay, so this is another stitch nine. The stocking. <laughs> that I started as a sale with Jackie, Cross My Stitches, and Amy Loves Toads. And I only got this far. It's very, very pretty. Both of them have finished theirs by now. I'm the slacker that sucks at stitch alongs. Um, so I, I'd like to pull that out and, and get that done. Or or at least, you know, like halfway done or something. You know, it's just sitting right now. Hey, go figure. The dog needs out. Dog. There you go. All right. Stiatch. 
This is 2018. Man, I didn't get as far on this as I thought I did. This was a piece of Ada I had in my stash. Um, this is the one that says home is where the... And there's multiple different finishes you can do. So I need to go back and, and get this done. And then this year's was, the, if, whoa, everything's falling. It's falling. Okay, so apparently you can't stack stuff that high. Cheese and rice. Okay, so this is, um, this year was Golden Girls. There's a picture of the Golden Girls. And then there's, again, multiple ways you can finish it. And this is how far I've, ugh, how far I've gotten. Also, that's where that Q-snap went that I was looking for that I Frankenstein together. Good to know. Do you know how many Q-snaps I would have if I took them all out of whips? Maybe we should make that a giveaway, like a guessing game. No, because you'll see them all when I do my whip parade. So I need to get this done. And I've been re-watching Golden Girls on Hulu. Wow. I, I, like, for when that aired on TV, some of the things they say, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I just noted to, noticed a text that came in. How many donuts do you want me to get for tomorrow morning? All of them. All of the donuts. We're doing... Um, birthday treats for a co-worker tomorrow morning and um yeah uh okay so I would also this year like to get one of my Bella mermaids done because all of the mermaids that he's released have been amazing this is the second one that I've started I have the first one was mermaid of Atlantis which I also love, but I, I liked these colors even better, and I think the darker hair. Um, so this is the one I picked to focus on for Stitch 9. And then I have the one in the moon, and I have that mini kit all... Well, I still have to pick fabric. And then I ordered the newest one that came out. Gorgeous. Um, which, that's going to be really hard not to start when it gets here, but... So this is the one that I'm going to try to finish this year. <laughs> I have lofty goals. And I am stitching this on 32 count linen. It is from Black Cauldron Dye Works. And it is Ghosts of, uh, Ghost of Christmas Present. I was reading that upside down. So I don't have very much done on this. I started this at my Michigan Stitchers Retreat this past fall and that's pretty pretty true to color for the fabric uh, back here that's what I've got and I am not doing the skin one over one on this um, I've done skin one over one on Mirabilia's I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing that like it's just if you've done one you know it's a lot I don't know. I, I know it looks amazing, but I just, I don't know. All right, the last for my Stitch 9. Again, another one that, I mean, you look at some of the things that I have on my Stitch 9, and it's just laughable, but whatever. It's very idle. This is where she's up to. And this is by Rolanda, hand dyed by Rolanda. She custom dyed this for me. I had bought a piece that I thought would be perfect for her, and it was, but the piece was too small. Like Fairy Idol, I actually needed to go up to a fat half instead of just a fat quarter. So she re-dyed it for me. 
in the larger size. <sighs> this one's just gonna be stunning. I just, I, I need, I need to pull it out and work on it. And I need to stop storing things in the Q-snaps. I need to be an adult. Okay, so that was my stitch nine. Um, let me jump back to Kenny's group. You better whip, bitch. Uh, which is a play on a Britney Spears song. I apologize, Kenny. I am not up to speed with Britney Spears, and I don't understand the play. So... Here's what you get a new, these are the freebie new starts you get. Birth month, cool. One sale start of your choosing. So any um, sale on Facebook, Instagram, through a designer, whatever. One sale throughout the entire year. One retreat start per year. Not per retreat, per year. One retreat start. That's going to be a problem, Kenny. Uh, and then you get three lifelines, which is just a start for no reason. So you just get three free starts through the entire year. Um, and then outside of that, you have to finish five whips to earn a start. All right. Uh, sorry, Kenny, I'm making a couple exceptions. I got the nose itch. I have four pieces that I committed to. They're gifts. You'll see I got two of these done. These have been all gift commitments. This one, like, she got married in September. Um, she picked out the pattern and everything. Like, some of these are going to get started and not go against my, my whip group because I have to do these. Um, the other exceptions I will have, I have, I joined swaps once in a while. I did not sign up for this last round of the Biscornu swap that I run. Um, but if one comes up throughout the year as a swap that I'm going to do, I'm not counting that in there as either. Um, I kind of see that as more of a commitment, um, piece, you know, start, and I don't even know if I consider it a start so much because it's not something for me. Um, a lot of times those patterns that get, get picked are not something I would pick for myself. So I, it's not really fulfilling my desire to start something. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But um, And then outside of that, I don't know if I have not explored the group. So I don't know if it's been covered. But Mania. Uh, yeah, I'm doing Mania because I do that. I didn't do it this last year. No, I didn't. I didn't do Mania in 2019. Um, I did 17, 18. One year was magazines. So did, I must have only done 17 and 18. I'm doing Mania this year. But I think to control it, because um, in the past I've done, well, in 17 I did a new start every single day. So 31 projects. 18, I had 31 pulled, but I didn't get through them all, and that was fine with me. There, there were some days that I was just like, yeah, forget it. Think what I'm going to do this year is 20. It's 2020. Mania originally started as, you know, that many projects for what year it was, so I'm going to pull 20. Again, if I don't get them all done, that's fine, but I'm not going to pull 31 and try to just cram in 31. Um, that'll kind of be my limit is 20. Um, I also really like how Cheryl McKinney, uh, Tranquil Stitcher, is doing her um, um, mania plans. She's been going into her cabinet and pulling out a handful and from that handful picking one. And then she goes and gets another handful and she's moving around her ca stash cabinet. Um, she's been filming them. So if you check out her channel, Tranquil Stitcher, on YouTube, she has been doing just quick 10 minute videos picking all of her mania starts it's really awesome um I might do something similar I have a cabinet but it's not like I have my patterns organized in binders now so I'm kind of thinking maybe I sit down with a binder and pick like three from each binder I don't know 
You know what I might do? Okay, so my binders are alphabetized A through Z um, by designers for, designer or chart company first name. Like Erica Michaels is, you know, designed by Linda Stoles, but it's under E for Erica. Um, maybe what I'll do is pick one for each letter of the alphabet minus some stupid letters like Q. Um, <laughs> because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. Maybe that's what I'll do. That could be fun. So maybe, Cheryl, I hope you don't mind. I Cheryl, you probably don't even watch my channel. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm probably going to kind of go along your idea, but do my own version. Um, and I will do those as videos. I just got a new um, tripod with a, a ring light so I can film in my basement. Like, I'll actually have some better lighting to film in my basement. I, I really hope it works because um, I want to do that. What am I doing now? So that was my plans, I guess. Yeah. So that was the exceptions that I'm making to Kenny's to Kenny's rules because there's so many rules. Um, but I love Kenny and I, I hope he he knows that I'm just messing with him. Hall. Yeah, haul. Okay. So again, my haul has been I'm I'm doing pretty good with cutting down on the buying. I really need to still cut down some more. No, I'm doing stitchy kindness first. This came from Aaron, two martini stitcher. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. I'm going to have to do that for Ellery's room. But I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to start it this year. Um Oh my god, I have so much crap. These came from my mom. She found them at her quilt guild meeting. There was a freebie table. Maybe we'll do these for giveaways. This is a full kit. Those would be really good giveaways. Not today. Another day. Oh, this one. Actually, this embroidery one came with all of the buttons. So that's pretty cool. Or a bunch of buttons or some something. I don't know. Um, this was... I don't know. Did I? Oh, and Aaron sent me this super nice card. Thank you, Aaron. I don't think I showed you what my stitchy wife sent me. Stitchy wife sent me a um, Christmas gift. She sent me a whole bunch of candles. Yeah, I don't think I showed this. She sent me a whole bunch of candles that smell amazing. She used to make candles. I got this fabric for backing. I got some beads for fobs. This looks pretty. Speaking of fobs, I got some other really cool things too. I gotta remember to pull those out. She got me these super cute earrings, and now I can now I can wear them because <laughs> I showed them. Look at these. Aren't those cute? So now I can wear those. They're all tangled up in this. Crap. Oh, come on now. I can't even get them back in the box. She sent me this needle minder. Oops. Well, now it's open. Cute. Some Christmas buttons. Some aloe socks. And this, oh my God, this bar of soap smells amazing everything in my in the vicinity of this soap smells amazing now uh buck naked soap company jasmine mosaic bar and she had it wrapped in a plastic bag because it's one of those bars of soap that's not wrapped fully um sorry i didn't mean to shake the camera it smells so good i haven't even taken i haven't even opened the bag but you can smell it like it's i need to put that in the shower because clearly i'm going to be taking a shower Thank you, thank you. And then this last one. My table is a mess. This last one showed up in the mail last week, I think. This is from Sharon. 
um, I sent her a chart. She sent me this card. And she sent me this mug rug. Isn't that cute? So, oh, there's a string on the back. I'm going to take this to work. And I can now that I showed you. So this is going to go in my work bag. Put this back in this bag and put it in my work bag. So thank you, Sharon. I really like it. Um, now we're going to do haul. And then... Oh, bless. So, okay, I got some ribbon. The last few little ribbon and trim. Um, I got these at Joanne yesterday. The Valentine was 70% off. Some little glittery hearts on there. St. Patrick's is only 30% off, but I picked it up. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. I think I'm going to use it on that um, spool that I'm doing that had the owl sitting on top and it has the pumpkins. I'm so lazy. I don't want to make my own green cording. I might use that. Ugh. And then where did I get these? I don't even know. I don't even know where they came from, but they're Valentine's. My sulky of the month, which I'm going to have to cancel. I need to take a break from it. I need to, I, I'm going to actually be canceling quite a few of my monthly things until we get caught up on some debt. Um, I bought this bag because somebody told me about it, and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. She does a fantastic job. I'm sorry, I cannot remember who I got it from. She's on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I can't remember. Got some needle minders. These are from... Needle Attractions. This one says she she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And these are my baby Yoda. Because he's so cute. I have to tell you a story about Yoda. So, <laughs> I, I see a therapist. Um every, I don't know, a few weeks. Sometimes I go three or four weeks in between. Anyway, um, so one week I went in and I told her about, you know, Baby Yoda and this thing I have with my cousin and I just send my cousin Baby Yoda memes just to drive her crazy because my cousin doesn't like Baby Yoda. And she mentioned, my therapist mentioned that she had this, um, she had seen this Yoda lamp on some website and it wasn't baby Yoda it was just regular Yoda this lamp that she wanted to get but it was like a hundred and seventy some dollars you know 180 dollars something like that and she's like I just can't that's ridiculous <laughs> and I said but if you buy it for your office it's a tax write-off because it's a business expense and she laughed and she said you're right so, I was supposed to go see my therapist on Monday, and I made dinner plans with some... Sorry, I'm trying to get the next thing ready while I'm doing this. I made some dinner plans with some mom friends for Monday. So, I met, I sent her, my therapist, a text, and I said, Hey, um, I'm doing pretty good. Can I reschedule for another week or two out? And she said, Sure. And I... <laughs> I, I gotta pull this up. And see if I, I can't remember how exactly it started. Okay, so she sent back um, a date and time that worked. And I said, that works. And she said, happy Groundhog's Day. And I said, did you buy the lamp? And she said, I did. But I haven't taken it out of the box yet. It's your fault. <laughs> and I said, you're smart to buy it. And she said, it will be here and you can let me know what you think. And then I said to myself, huh. 
I wonder if I need to find a new therapist because I'm not sure the patient should be able to sway the therapist like that. <laughs> but anyway, that's my, that's my uh, therapy story. <laughs> and then I got more uh, needle minders from Gina and <laughs> Gina's Unique Boutique on Etsy. She's also on Facebook. More Baby Yoda. And Crazy Cat Lady. And I wish I was a unicorn so I could stab idiots with my head. True. True story. Ooh! Did not mean for them to stick together that much. Anyway. So there's my needle minders. There's the dog. All right. The dog's been going outside to eat rabbit treats, also known as rabbit turds. Um, oh, man. Nope, she wasn't today anyway. Kathy, dying for cross-stitch. Holy amazing. So she blah, 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 has started dying some trim. I gotta, I gotta just like take myself off of some of these groups, guys. Okay, so here's my floss haul from Kathy. This is like a brown, black, gray. I don't know. It's a nice, it's a nice one. That was my big. How many yards are in that one? I don't remember. Fifty. These are my two mulberry silks. Very pretty. They smell so good. You just sniff my thread. Um, here are some solid or semi solid cottons. Woo! Throwing things, throwing things. I don't want to leave that on the ground. A cat might steal it. Here are. variegated. This one is really cool. All different greens and yellows. I think this one was ice dyed. If I remember correctly. I'm not positive though. Then I picked up some lace and these are, she sells these in, like this is a four yard cut. I guess if you want to call it a cut. So they've got a gray like a sage green and I've got like this kind of teal but that's four yards and then oh, this is two different orders two different weeks here's some six stranded silk that she had dyed as well Four of these. The nose itch. Everybody gets the nose itch filming, right? And then the rest of what I got is chenille. Chenille trim. I have to go yell at the dog. fix my my fancy headband again maybe I'll just start wearing it like this it's pretty no chenille chenille trim uh ta-da <laughs> okay so I bought all of these and obviously I do not need 80 bazillion aren't these amazing Here's some blues and purples. Here's some greens. Pinks and reds. Gray. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I can't remember if these are, I think they're five yards. Five yards in the chenille trim. 
I think. Four or five. I mean, a bare minimum is four. It, I'm pretty sure it's five. So what we're going to do is a giveaway. What I'm going to do is take... Um, I'll do two groups of three. I need a pen. I don't have one in reach. We're going to do two groups of three. I'm going to take some of these colors. I'm going to split it and do... So you, you'll get one group will be three different colors, two yards of each. The second group will be the same thing. Three different colors, two yards of each. Because I don't need five yards of the same color. I'm, I, I don't. Um, so I'm going to split them up and share some of the chenille. So we'll do a group of two groups of three two yard pieces. You'll get six yards of chenille. So if you'd like to be entered for those, please comment below with, oh, mm, standard giveaway rules. Please don't say giveaway. Please be a subscriber. Please uh, be 18 so I can legally have your address and the police don't come for me. Um, comment with, um, I'd love to finish with chenille. That'll be to enter for the chenille trim groupings. Then we're going to do the same thing with the ribbon because, again, four yards. I'm not sure I'd ever use four yards. I mean, maybe if I had coordinating projects, I was trying to make match, but yeah, no. So comment below with, I, you'll get all three, two yards of each. Comment below with, I'd like to finish with ribbon or not ribbon. Lace. I'd like to finish with lace. So that's one, two, three giveaways. I never finished haul. I'll get back to the haul. I'll get back to haul. We're already started on giveaways. We're stuck on giveaways now. I went to the library yesterday. I always go to the bookstore downstairs at the library. They had some quilting fabric. I don't know why. Random. But... For a buck, and I like to support the library group, so for a buck, I bought this cute fabric. Um, it's not really, I mean, it's a weird cut, but I think you could still make a project bag out of it, or you could use it for a backing, but it's really cute, and it's nice bright colors, and then it actually came with um, these two pieces of this fabric, too, and it's just two squares but you could use it for backing or, or something. Uh, if you want to be entered for that, please comment with, I'd like to make a project bag. Uh, I will enter you for the fabric. We're going to go, so that's one, two, three. This is giveaway number four. And then I have this black work rose pattern. I've already stitched it, so I will not stitch it again. You know my rules. So if anybody wants this uh, black work rose pattern, comment with I'd like to stitch the rose. It's giveaway number five. And last but not least, giveaway number six, one of the Rovaris patterns that she sent me. And this is the daisy pattern that is upside down. Daisy. Um, it is Groundhog Day here, and I hear that we're having an early spring, so you better get to stitching. Uh, comment below to enter with, um, I'd like to stitch the daisies, and I'll enter you for that one. So that's six giveaways this week. Now I'm going to finish haul, and then I'm going to finish this video, and then I'm going to move shit and get out all my whips. What a mess. Somebody should clean this up. Picked up my next Biscorio pattern from work. Um, I've been picking up a few things here and there from Bush Mountain, Stitchery, uh, Overstock stuff. This is a full kit. Who's the designer? Enchanted Needle. I've never even seen these. But I thought that was cute for Halloween. It comes with the fabric and the floss. Isn't she fancy? Love it. 
Uh, I got this kit, which I believe this is the same designer that I had bought a leaflet that had a mommy and baby mermaid. So I thought it'd be really cute to do them together. Which means I won't be using this fabric most likely because I'll kind of want the fabrics to coordinate. Royal Holiday. Uh, I got, I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I do have some of this petite point, uh, fabric though, or whatever, petty point, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I want to do it on that. But I might do it on the blue one, because I have blue. These are stickers. <laughs> Last in this series, which... I won't be starting anytime soon. Thanks, Kenny. Love you, Kenny. I got this book on Amazon. Amazon. It was like $7.95. Something like that. I don't know. It's awesome. Let me show you why I bought it. Maybe. If I can find it. Aren't they adorable? That little girl fairy especially. So cute. Angel, not fairy. Sorry. Um, there was also these. And these. I don't think I'll put the words on them, but I like them. They're different. But yeah, that 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 was what drew me to that. So I bought this kit. Um, I think I might have already bought it. I have to check my stash. I don't know. It's the one that comes with the magazine and all the crap and. I need to stop just going to stores. Aren't those cute? Love the colors. Love the colors. Well, it is Doreen, you know, so of course I love it. Can't show you those because it has the chart. Hi, could we maybe put pictures not on the same page as the chart? Apparently not. Here's some festive food. How come nobody's come to my house and putting all this stuff away for me? These are cute. 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 Oh, come on. Being challenged today. Good grief. Okay, so I can't show you anything else. And then I picked up Cross Stitch Gold. I have not bought a Cross Stitch Gold magazine in, I want to say, years. Um, I just am not drawn to a lot of the stuff that they put in cross stitch gold anymore i don't know why if i i mean like it's beautiful it's nothing i would stitch for me they have beautiful charts but it seems like they're bigger and they're not anything i would use however i bought this issue i almost did an episode <laughs> i bought this issue this is designed by Jenny Barton, and I have to stitch that. That's freaking amazing. So, yeah. I paid a stupid amount for, yeah, uh, $14.99. Whatever, I guess that's about how much that chart would cost. 
Okay, that's everything. There's six giveaways. Put your comments below. I, as always, will write them down in order that they come in and use random number generator. I should really just try that random comment thing, huh? Um, I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to go pull out all of my whips that I can find. There might some, be some hiding some places, but I'm going to pull out what I can. And I'll get set up to do a whip parade. While I'm doing my whip parade, I am going to be taking pictures of the pieces. So you'll have to be a little bit patient with me because I need to post them in my album in Kenny's group. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I don't know about you, but it is sunny here. A little bit windy, but sunny and like 48. That's like awesome. So maybe the groundhog was right. and Maybe we are having early spring. So um, happy stitching. My cat is staring at a leaf out the window. I don't know if you'll be able to. Maybe we can. There's Romeo. Kitty, kitty, kitty. We doing, bud? Oh, got the dog's attention. All right, guys. I will jump back on here in a bit and then hopefully get these both uploaded today. Um, I may upload this one first and then wait until tomorrow to upload the whip parade just because of how long it will probably take. See you later.